Iron Maiden asks, where's Eddie? Dorothy gives us black sheep. STP's Robert DeLeo is going solo. And Brian Adams and John Cleese kick ass. Gather around, you music aficionados. I'm Katie Darrell. This is the Music High Five, and we're going to get started with the quick hits. Where's Eddie? Iron Maiden's new Where's Wally style book is looking like a super fun time. While Green Day is ready to release their reissue of their 1997 classic album, Nimrod. And comedian John Cleese teams up with Brian Adams for his new kick-ass video. We pushed through those quick hits. Let's go ahead and jump to the music high five. Number one, a 2022 Blink 182. Blink and you'll miss Blink-182, not! 2022 brings a new regrouping of the band, which now includes founding member Tom DeLonge back in front. Tom brings news of an upcoming album slated to be one of the most progressive of Blink's catalog, which can be heard from their first single, Edging. And you'd think that would be enough, but nope, Blink-182 is going on a reunion world tour. Tickets are on sale now, and I would get yours soon. Number two. Punk never dies. Break out the safety pins and spikes, we're getting a punk rock museum. Located in Las Vegas, the museum will house the most expansive and inclusive artifacts from all things punk rock, including a guitar room where you can actually play them. Funded by members from Bad Religion, Foo Fighters, Blink-182, and more, doors will open January 13th, 2023. Number three, Beat the Black Sheep Drop. All hail the Black Sheep. Dorothy premiered the new video for Black Sheep off their third album, Gifts from the Holy Ghost. And Dorothy has also joined the lineup of guests on the new season of The Top 10 Revealed. When that day comes, we're all screwed. No. <laughs> you can watch new episodes of The Top 10 Revealed every Tuesday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on Access TV, followed by the very, very best of the 80s. Number four, get a lesson from Robert DeLeo. Robert DeLeo's debut solo album, Lessons Learned, is finally here. From Stone Temple Pilots to his new 2022 feat, DeLeo stops by to school us on his big lessons for his solo music. What's the vibe? What are people getting out of this new solo album? Uh, you know, just uh, me kind of um, pulling my pants around my ankles, so to speak, musically speaking. So just kept it in a real intimate, uh, this, just felt sonically where this record should should lie. How did you approach the songwriting for this solo project as opposed to the stuff that, you know, we've been rocking out to for years with STP? Yeah. For me, it's all approached the same way. It all starts on an acoustic guitar, but it's a matter of where it goes from there. I think just the sentiment of what I was trying to get across, it was kind of like, a, you know, my journal and my, my diary to myself and um, choosing different singers to join this journey with me. Uh, you know, that was, that was, uh, amazing thing and I, I'm very fortunate to have great friends who have great voices. Robert DeLeo's new solo album is available now. It is called Lessons Learned. Number five, pumpkin carving anyone? Rock and roll celebs are getting into the spooky spirit. Several music artists attended Knights of the Jack, a one-of-a-kind experience showcasing thousands of unique hand-carved pumpkins in Calabasas, California. Fearfully famous guests included Travis Barker, Lance Bass, and Joey Fatone. It's time for one of my favorite parts of the show, super sweet new music videos. Gemma Lawrence has a 70s style standoff in the short film for the single Watchdog off the upcoming album, Lavender. And Grammy Award winning artist Macy Gray releases the joyous music video for her latest single, Every Night. Plus, Hailstorm just slapped the world with their live video for Wicked Ways. Music news is always happening, so keep listening. I'm Katie Darrell, and that's the Music High Five.